This is gonna get kind of deep, I think. I don't doubt my sexuality. I just don't know if I'm fully 100% on what it is. Hi, I'm Whew. Hi. Hello, everybody. Ignore, I mean, I can tip that out of frame a tiny bit, I guess. Guys, ignore the mess if you can see any mess. Right, as you can see, there's still nothing behind me. We're working on it, right? I've got deliveries happening tomorrow. But I ordered some Pizza Express. This is my first little um, takeout in the new crib. I thought since I'm like trying to move things like, and I've not really had much time to sit down and do like long days editing, whatever, um, rather than giving you nothing, rather than giving you jack shit, I decided I'd give you something that we never do, which is a mukbang. Um, so I did ask you guys about five minutes ago on Instagram to give me some questions. So I guess we'll just see if anybody's got any questions. But if not, I mean, we can just do, we can just do some deep chats because guys, I've got things to say, to be honest. I've been, I've been through it today. But first, let's just have a quick gander at what we've got here. Because I won't lie. I won't be surprised if this is cold. Yeah, it's not warm, because it took his sweet time, okay? I understand we're all going through some things, all right? But if you're gonna be an Uber driver, just know how to follow a GPS, all right? I don't think that's a hard ask, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, so you're all gonna probably judge me, because I have gone very basic, but it is what it is. So I got, obviously, a margarita pizza because I was just, guys, I, 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 I'm not feeling frisky tonight. I don't want to try new things. I don't want to test the taste buds. I've had a bit of a challenging day. So I think I'm allowed to be a bit basic. So I did, in fact, get, ooh, they look interesting. I did, in fact, get some halloumi. Delicious. Can you say delicioso? Halloumi bites. And the classic dough bottles. I mean, come on. So look, can you see all this? I feel like this angle's pretty decent, to be honest. Right? I can always zoom you in a tiny bit. Ow! I can always zoom you in a tiny bit. Hey. Right. Before we get into the questions, let me just take a quick bite. Because I am ravenous. Okay, I'm starving. Mmm. Very thin and very cold. I will say, I do think, well, this may be controversial yet brave. Um, I think Pizza Express is kind of one, overrated, and, over, and two, overpriced. But maybe, maybe that's just takeout. Mm. Although, that is delicious. Delicioso? Would have definitely been better warmer. But you know what? Cold pizza's fine. Mmm. Okay. Let's look at the questions. Oh, guys, you've come through to be honest. Ooh. You've come through to be honest. We've got some questions here. Worst date story time. Now, fun fact about me, probably not that fun to be honest, is I don't go on dates. Mmm, that's nice. Garlic butter. Yeah, I don't date, and then I wonder why I'm single, right? I do fuck myself over to be honest. Worst date. Do you know what? Because this is a juicy Q&A, I'll treat you to a, um, a juicy hookup story. Because I'm a human. I have done hookups, right? I'm gay and I'm a human, all right? It is what it is. First of all, the guy was so slow. This was back in the day when I was like a bottom exclusively, right? The guy was so slow, really slow. Like, now don't get me wrong, I don't want a short stint. Like, I want it to be worth my while. But like, I'm also not, like when it's a hookup, I'm not committing to several hours, right? So yeah, first of all, there's that, which I didn't need to tell you because that has nothing to do with the story. But 
basically we were like kissing and such Ooh, scandalous um and in the room at the time because this was during uni this was years ago at the time i had pictures of like my family and stuff because i was living away from family so i had pictures of my family on my, on my walls and stuff and there was a picture of my grandma and it was like by my head like from what he could see because i was against the wall kinky um and he was like I remember him saying like, oh, like imagine if your grandma could see you now. And uh, guys, I nearly called it quits right there and then. I nearly threw up in my mouth, okay? So that was disgusting. And then he took so long, so there was that. And then, worst date story. I've not, like I said, I've not, not been on many. But um, this date actually wasn't that bad. It kind of just escalated. It, be it began with us seeing a boy that this boy had done bits with in the past. Hi, gay. At an opposite table. And this other boy had seen the boy I was on a date with and was making it his mission to make it awkward, right? So then me being the bigger person, didn't say anything, but I, because there was a chair that would have kind of obstructed his view of us or whatever. And so I just got up and sat in that chair like with my back to them. But then what I didn't realize would be like, the boy that I was on a date with would be looking at me and then, in essence, over my shoulder so I'd still see them. Um, so yeah, that was really awkward. And then it kind of escalated to the point where the boy that I was on a date with, we ended up getting cocktails somewhere like later on in the date and he asked me to go to the bathroom with him. Okay, to do, I'm sure you can figure out what. Um, and I obviously said no, because um, for me like, it was a date. And I was pissed, guys. I was, don't get me wrong, I was drunk. But I was not in the mood to be doing bits in the bathrooms. Because I'd also, I'd also been to the bathrooms of this place and they were not that nice. Mmm. This is delicious, I'm not gonna lie. Delicious. Next. Who was your gay awakening? I'm not sure I recall. But what I do recall, there was a hair in my garlic butter. What I do recall was like, I definitely came across like some porn star. Oh. I recall coming across a porn star and then I was like, shit, I either want to be a porn star or I'm gay. Turns out both. I think being a porn star would be so fun. Who's your favorite horror final girl? It has to be Sydney. Not like realistically. Sydney is that bitch. Favorite position? Ooh. Mmm. Okay. This is getting quite juicy now. So, right, as you guys know, or my, maybe you didn't know, but now you do, um, I am more of a top exclusively these days. I don't mind bottoming, but I've just not bottoming a bottomed in ages. And I just love topping. So there's that about me, right? Apparently we're really besties these days. Um, and I'd say my favourite position as a top would either be doggy or one that I experienced recently that I'd not experienced now. This is a very common position and that is being rode. Now, <laughs> now obviously like that's a very classic position. Everyone and their mother, yikes. Um, does that position, right? It's a very common position. It's not, it's not out of the box in any way. But I just never, like I've never experienced it. Like I must have been with just some really lazy bottoms that just want to lay there. Um, but no, like quite recently, a couple of weeks ago, I guess. Don't need to give you a time frame, do I? Um, experienced that for the first time and would never look back. It was a wonderful experience. Um, Taylor Swift song that describes your life slash a particular relationship you've had. I'd say my tears ricochet. Okay. <laughs> That's enough said, isn't it, really? It's enough said. Top three porn categories. Mmm. Oh, I've got a great one. I love massage. Massage porn, people. People. I will say, I like, I usually, th I click on, I find myself clicking on a lot old and young. Obviously, young as in like over 18, right? We're not going there. 
But you, you more, more or less, it's usually just like a twink and a dad. Right? And I can't really think of a third. Maybe like in the gym. Like the workout ones are kind of, kind of fun. When they're like, when they're like, oh my god, we are forgetting too much. When they're like doing like bench presses and the other man's like stood over him with his peanuts. <laughs> oh, biggest turn ons. Okay. Biggest turn ons. Um, someone has to have, like, they have to have, like, good fashion sense. I'm not saying they have to, like, dress immaculately every day because, I mean, hello, I'm not, right? But, like, they need to know how to put an outfit together if the time should arise. Funny. I cannot, I cannot be with a boring bastard. I really can't. And I think that's why I'm single, because so many gays, and I'm sorry for this venture, so many gays are just so bland and boring and care about one thing only. And I simply don't have the time for that. Like, I want, I want to have fun. Like, I want to laugh. I, like, I want to have movie nights. And like, but I also want to, I want to go clubbing. I want to go for some drinks. I want to have fun, like, I don't want a person who's dull. So that's definitely a turn on, if someone's funny. Mmm. If we're talking appearance, all right, well, so I've given you a, a, a few little nice ones there that aren't appearance based, but if we're, if we're talking appearance, I love someone with like a really cute face, like a, like a really cute smile, like really friendly looking. Like I, I don't think I could be with someone who's quite mean looking. If you know what I mean. Do you think I look mean? Pose this question to you guys. Do you think I look mean? Or do I look quite friendly? I think when I'm out and about, I have been told that I do look quite bitchy. And I don't mean to. I like someone who's athletic, right? And this is not me saying that they need to have an amazing body. By no means, actually. Right, because that's just like, that'd be stressful for me. I need someone who kind of wants to take pride in their appearance, might want to come to the gym with me, because I love going to the gym. I think that's enough for that. So they're my, they're my turn ons. Defo funny. Funny's like top, top of the, top of the line. Oh, and creative, they need to be creative too. Most embarrassing story. There's definitely a video on my channel like from way back. Where I, actually, where I actually told this story. And I think it might be titled My Most Embarrassing Story. Basically, long story short, I ended up pissing myself, like literal urine on the floor and on my clothes in a pull and bear changing room. Um, and I didn't know what to do about it. So I pulled my trousers up. Um, I put my coat around my waist, I put the bag in front of me, and I just walked out with my head down and just left the store. So I'd say that's my, my uh, most embarrassing story. If you want to know the full, like, full details, I will put the video on screen or like, try and link it below, or just search Brad Evans' most embarrassing story because it'll come up because I'm pretty sure it's titled that. Would you do a long distance relationship with a couple, dot, 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 asking for a friend? Now, what do you mean? Like, are you, are you the third? Like, is there a couple and you're the third adding to this relationship? Like, I mean, good for you. I couldn't. I'm not a sharer. But I mean, if it's your judge, then sure, who am I to say no? I just don't really know. I don't know, I don't know how that would work. If it was a long distance relationship between you and two other people, then they're gonna be like, at least able to like keep their flavor going. And you're gonna be on your own, and I imagine it's gonna be a case where you're gonna constantly, constant, constantly be having to like go visit them and stuff. Like I doubt the two of them are gonna come visit you. But who knows? I mean, hun, at this point, take what you can get, because I would. <laughs> Ooh. What top three things stress you out? Um, let's just put, I hope you love your new home. Thank you. Um, I do. Um, what top three things stress me out? I'd say technology, definitely one of them. Two, uh, 
my body slash getting close to fit my body. But we can go into that if we want. I think having a, having enough time to get everything done, that kind of stresses me out. And the thought that like realistically there isn't enough time for me to get stuff done sometimes is very stressful. Yeah. Was I meant to put this in the microwave to melt it more? Mm -mm. Have you ever doubted your sexuality or for a celebrity? Now, to be honest, now let's get really real, I guess. I wouldn't say I've, I've doubted my sexuality for a celebrity, but this is going to get kind of deep, I think. I don't doubt my sexuality. I just don't know if I'm fully 100% on what it is completely yet. Like, because the thing is, I, I'm very much attracted to women, um, which might come as a shock to some of you guys. Yeah, but like, Here's kind of the tea, and I, I think I've literally told this to one person in my life, and that, that is it. So you're lucky, right? You're getting a lot here. Um, so I basically grew up kind of like being told I was different before I was maybe ready to be different, if that makes sense. And like kind of just being told that I was gay, obviously like got bullied, got called names, whatever. Um, but then I also kind of like never really thought that a woman would find me attractive, which sounds really sad, doesn't it? But it was kind of the truth. Um, there was a girl that I like legitimately fancied um, way back when, um, and I actually found out after I'd left like the area, or whatever, that she actually fancied me back. But I was kind of under the impression that like no girl would find me attractive. Um, I, I, much, I thought she like definitely saw me as more, more of a friend situation. So then obviously nothing happened with that. And then I, I also got told in uni like similar stuff from like some of the girls like no girl would find me attractive in that way, that, that sort of thing. And yeah, I'm kind of just like, I've ha obviously had experiences with females in the past and they've been good experiences and like, I don't regret those experiences whatsoever. In actual fact like, I would be open to more female experiences. Um, so I don't really know what that means. Like, am I bi? I don't think so. Like, I feel like it's weird. Like, I, I think I'd feel more comfortable in a relationship with a man simply because like, that's kind of all I've known for such, so for such a long time. Do you know what I mean? Like, imagine me getting a wife and having kids. So yeah. That's kind of where I'm at with my sexuality, like I'm not, I wouldn't ever say to myself like I'm 100% gay, would never touch a woman, whatever. Like I'm very much open to whatever. Um, and I'm just going with the flow. If a woman comes into my life and I think she's beautiful, which has happened to me in the past, and um, she also thinks I'm cool, I'd be down. So there's that. I'm not really bothered about putting a label on it and I would still class myself as a gay male, but um, who knows? Well guys, I think that's it. Like I'm probably gonna sit here and continue eating this, but I feel like, is this a good length? I'm not sure, I'm not sure how long I've been filming for. Um, but it's like, there's a few others, like, someone said Robin or Nancy, that's so super fucking easy, Robin all the way. What will finally break the internet? Probably when Rihanna comes back to music or something, I reckon. Not that I'm too bothered, but I imagine a lot of people are. What word do you think is fun to say? Cathartic. It's a lovely word. Yeah. Cathartic, where the fuck, is that a word? Did, where did that come from? That's cathartic. Is that a word? If not, let's make it a word. Cathartic? Is it catharsis? Cathartic. It's a lovely word. Ooh, someone put when did I lose my VCAT and how traumatizing was it on a scale of one to 10? I'd say not even one. I was in my first relationship and I felt very safe. It then went on to cheat on me, so I mean, it is what it is. Um, 
But I did feel like I was being shot in the asshole for a good 30 seconds and then it was great. <laughs> and with that said, I guess that's the end of this video. Um, I am going to be working on obviously trying to get Haunting Up Hill House the finale up. Obviously, it takes time. So I should imagine probably late this week I'll get, get that up for you. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I know that if you did watch, and if not, never mind. But I'll see you soon in another video. Goodbye.